Uh, this is Josh Kuchera, and I'm working on a project for the Pulitzer Center on the border between Europe and Asia. Uh, now, usually what we learn in school is that there are uh, seven continents, uh, Europe and Asia among them, uh, but what makes Europe and Asia different from the rest of the continents is that, that most of the continents are separated from one another by oceans, uh, whereas Europe and Asia uh, are separated by this whole complicated string of geographical features. Uh, it's the, the Bosporus in Istanbul, the Black Sea, the Ural Mountains in, uh, in Russia. Uh, a lot of places the border isn't really noticeable at all, and so there, there are disputes about where really it, it should lie. Um, now, how this came to be is kind of a mystery. Uh, the Greek historian Herodotus wrote about this uh, in the 5th century BC, uh, and even then, 2,500 years ago, he said this border doesn't make any sense, uh, he doesn't know how it got to be where it is, uh, and that clearly Europe and Asia are part of one single landmass, uh, and so dividing them up doesn't even make sense. So this is kind of a fun geographical curiosity, uh, but it's it's much more than that too, because uh, Europe and Asia have come to mean much more than just geographical parts of land. Um, there's, there's lots of ideas associated with Europe and Asia uh, about civilization, politics, uh, even race. Uh, so over the years, you know, these, these ideas have developed, and so now when we think of, of Europe or the West, uh, we think of things like civilization, enlightenment, democracy, uh, materialism, individualism. Uh, when you think about Asia or, or the East, uh, it's the opposite of all those things. Uh, and, and the thing that's really interesting to me about this is that all the countries that lie along this artificial geographical border happen to be uh, exactly the countries where you've had some of the, the, the biggest, most profound debates about who we are. Uh, are we Eastern? Are we Western? Uh, are we something in between? Um, some of the you know, the most famous examples are, for example, Ataturk uh, in Turkey or Peter the Great in Russia, uh, and then there, there were reactions and counter-reactions and so on to their ideas. Um, and you've had similar stories in, in Georgia and Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan as well. Um, so what I did for the Pulitzer Center is I traveled all along the length of this border. I started in Istanbul, I went across the Black Sea to Georgia, to Azerbaijan, uh, across the Caspian Sea to Kazakhstan, and then up north through Russia uh, all the way to the Arctic Circle. Uh, and what I did along the way is to explore how the border got to be where it is, and then what it means for the people uh, in these countries living along the border uh, to be European or Asian or Western or Eastern or in between. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy it.